The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Brooklyn, New York. Weighing in at 235 pounds, Ethan Black. Matches of this caliber. And action. Welcome, producers, to another skills. episode this of Universe You're Watching. Friday Night Smackdown, this is episode number 710. You heard it here for 710. And right now you get the return. Welcome home to the hybrid, Ethan Black. It has been a long time since we've seen this individual competing on Friday Night Delight. I can't wait to see what he does, man. I really can't. I, I've been... You know, I've been itching to see what he accomplished, what he'd accomplish, you know, because he said he wants to um, be world champion. He said he wants to be intercontinental champion. Let's see if he can do it. What up, Connor? Look who's here. And, oh, here we go. We got a debut, guys, by the way. So, Hands you may not know this. By Prince J. Representing the Chief <laughs> Magnets. From no place in particular, weighing in at 146 pounds, quick draw, stubs. This superstar so Chris J and Ethan Black have been getting into an so online affair with one another, the where they constantly bicker right and exchange words via social media. Damn, I guess they did. But the thing is. You know, Ethan wants to shut up, I'd say, Chris J. Chris J wants to shut up Ethan Black. Squiggly says, hey, I've been hired to protect Prince J. So if you want to get to him, you got to get through me. So right here tonight, as, if it's the biggest one of his as career, the camera and the spotlight to to rolls tonight. on Prince J, it's not about him tonight. He's going to be having his security guard, Squiggly, go one-on-one -on -one against the hybrid so we'll see how that turns out and about man I don't I don't know but you can see Ethan Black's not too amused right behind uh, Prince J again Prince J is not in this match he's not competing it's squiggly yeah, right there that man right there so let's see what happens and this match is officially underway Charles Robinson will be our official referee here that's yeah, springboard. Oh, disaster kick! Looking like Cody Rhodes out there. You're not the only person to be looking to convince this. Curb stop! Oh, reverse into an RKO. Oh, there's a right hand. The big, the tall guy. I guess he's not really a big guy. He's a tall guy. I've never seen security dressed this way. I'll tell you that much. They, uh, this is a unique look for protection. Chris J has, um, I would say, an interesting concept of what a security guard is. Oh my God! And look at this! Look at the strength of Squiggly just launching Ethan off of the ropes and now trying to target that right arm of his. Oh, and he stomped the right, yeah, the right wrist. There. Look at that! And again, does it? Not gonna try to pick him back up to his feet. What he does here? Nothing. Ethan able to counter, tie up. And what's he gonna do here? Get him against the ropes and uh, oh, there's a chop. And up the now leg. he's going after the left leg Straight there. To the knee. The legs are a Bam. That you do not oh, that's a real good. Down the tree at the so, base here. in case you know, it's the SDF that um, it stands for the Squiggly Defense Force. So, if you're wondering what's he defending, well, it should be clear by now. It's supposed to be Chris oh. J. Oh, what a slap right to the now. face! And both athletes oh, kick to the gut. Ooh, reversal. and a reversal. Went for a springboard, but Squiggly saw it coming. Rebound off the ropes. Hip toss. To Going to cover here. Uh, referee calls for the rope break. This match will continue. Up top. Oh, come on. No way. Look at Squiggly go. with a diving shoulder outside. tackle from the Take top rope. From all the way to the outside. Oh, man. He almost launched him back inside the ring. Ethan Black not too amusing. Oh, and he bumped him right into Prince J. 
And Prince J, oh man, he's got, he feels very, I don't know how he feels about that, but he does feel some type of way you can see. Count of five, he's got to get this match right back inside the ring, which he does, count of six. Irish whip, rebound off the ropes, duck underneath. Oh, oh, how about it? Oh, and a kick to the chest. Now, if Squiggly loses this match, that means Ethan Black will have a chance to go up against Chris J, and he hit him with the flatliner. That could possibly be it, but hold on. Oh, he's going for the submission, locked in. He's got a, 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 a rear naked choke. Looking to make him tap out, but Squiggly, I guess he lets him go. Ooh, standing shooting star, but got the knees up. He went to the corner, top left on the screen. Sits him up on the turnbuckle. Uh-oh. What is this? He looks like he's going for, is it a muscle buster? That might be it. That might actually put this match away. One, two. Oh, two and a half. Ethan Black is able to escape. Wiggly Diggly. Look at this. Oh. And another roundhouse Stick kick to the chest. Steady Ridiculous shooting star, that time it hits. Star. Squiggly rolls Desperate out the ring. Chris J has not done a damn thing so far, so I guess you could say that's good. Ethan begging to get on his feet, which he does. Suicide dive to the outside. And that risk gained big rewards. Down to one. Two. Oh, Jones there. And he's back inside the, the ring the now. Look at this. Oh, oh. DDT! And referees in the call rope break. This match continues. That was good officiating there. I give it to him that time. Audio cut out. Did it really? I can hear myself. Oh, disaster kick again. And he's just having his way in the play Inside cradle for the win. One, two. Oh, close call. Oh, close line. Followed by a back elbow. Irish flip to the corner. Re oh, he reversed it. Moves out the way. Roundhouse kick. Comeback complete. Ethan gets back in the ring. Looking for that black drive, can he hit it? He does! Oh, and he gets back up like it didn't really affect him. Irish whip, rebound again. Leapfrog, rolls him up. And another roundhouse kick. And referee calls yet another rope break. What is Ethan gonna have to do here? Right in the head. Oh, toss to the outside Hell next to Prince J. Is he gonna do something match. about it though? That's the question. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. Going for maybe oh it's a black drive on the outside! But that's not gonna win you a match. You gotta get it back in the ring. <clears throat> Look at that. Went for it looked like I don't know what it was. A cutter of some sort countered into a power slam. Ethan got to get it back in the ring, which he does not. It's actually good. He's going to get whipped into the the still steps the there. Up right to the wind up elbow drop. Worked out good. Charles Robinson, you count of six. You got to get it back in the ring. The WWE count of seven. Their feelings known. Eight. And back in time. But look at this. He squiggly put himself in a bad spot here. Oh, and a flatliner off the turnbuckle. Back to his feet now. Kick, punch, punch, super kick. Close line into the corner. Reversal. What's he gonna do here? Irish whip to the corner. Oh, reversal onto the outside again. Things are getting risky. Uh-oh, look at this. He's going for that back suplex on the apron. Oh! That does not feel good at all. At all. Here comes Charles Robinson with the count. 
one of the best officials we've had in WWE history. Looks like Mike Kyoto and Earl Hebner, of course. Count of four, this gets back in the ring. And now look at this. Oh, wow! He just swung him by his neck. Irish whip to the corner. Now this could be, this could be it. If he hits the squiggly diggly one more time, it's a, oh, I guess not. He wants something else. He wants to do something else here. Not sure what it is. His eyes are fixated. Oh, I thought he was going to go for, oh, hold on. It's still something big. Something big. Oh, a diving curb stomp from the top turnbuckle. And he's busted open. Two. He kicked out. Man, I'm surprised he kicked out of that. Look at that. He's busted wide open. A nasty cut on the skull of Ethan Black. I'm surprised he didn't win the match like that. Now he's got a, uh oh. Ethan Black looking for the black drive again. Can he hit it again? He does. What are we gonna see here? One, two. It's over. Yep. Ethan Black gets the victory over Squiggly. So that means he's gonna have a he's gonna have a match with Prince J. This is the type of victory where and Prince really Jay, he's like, all right, I got you, no problem. As on top of things as he could you know, these guys don't like each other, but he's going to... Yeah, he, he, he's... I know he doesn't want to play any of these games Prince Jay has in store for him, but hey, we know for sure now Prince Jay is going to want to see his match through with this man right here, Ethan Black. He's going to be ready for him, too. He's tired of the talking. But nonetheless, everybody, we got ourselves a number one contenders match for the women's championship. The WWE Women's Championship, excuse me. Zia Lee takes on Zelina Vega up next. Singles contest. Let's see how that goes. <coughs> excuse me. He said five-star squiggly. <laughs> Man. Well, Prince J, it didn't seem like he was interested in getting involved. So, you know, yeah, I think he's... um. I think he's going to, you know, try to settle things in the ring the best he can. We'll see what happens. Looks like we've got like an anime style to see a background. Arts masterpiece, both on the ramp and in the ring. Now this <coughs> is going to be crazy. I, I, I don't know who's going to win, honestly. It's an evenly skilled matchup, to say the least. But somebody's going to backlash. Hey. See what happens. Zelina might be little... But she is fierce and representing the LWO from Queens, New York, Zelina Vega. Zelina has seen a tremendous amount of success lately. Zelina she Vega going to have the opportunity of a lifetime. Zelina's and if she wins, her and Shotzi are going to, without a doubt in my mind, Zelina was no tear the roof off the place. So let's see what happens here. Who's going to earn the opportunity of a lifetime here? A world championship match up for grabs. And the referee. Oh, we got the ramp angle. Okay, I like this. Here we go. Irish whip to the, in this case, oh, we got Charles Robinson again. Okay. Rolls up. Oh, rolling kick on the button too, man. It's like they say, Byron, Rolling it's not the kick again. The the Beautifully well and done. Corner, Vega. She has an and look at that. Oh! 
She might be on the bounced off the canvas. Oh, rolling senton. When Zelina is locked in on her opponent, and now, her focus let's see what Zayli, really oh, kick right to the ribs, now, and a stomp right to the back of the head. Now, do some serious now targeting damage. the left elbow, there there's elbow. A, another one right there. I'm going to have to get this back to the top here. Irish whip. Rebound off the ropes. Duck underneath. Leapfrog. And a knee right on the chin. Oh. Oh. Nice hurricane runner. Clothesline into the corner. And so now let's see what happens here. Irish whip towards... The ring ropes, rebound, leapfrog, and a high knee. That'll work. High head kick. Zelina trying to escape, and she does with a drop kick to the left thigh of Zia Lee. Oh, right there on the... That's it. Oh, no. And just had her foot, her left foot underneath the rope. There's a DDT for good measure, though. Corey, we know that Zelina isn't afraid to get her hands dirty when she's in the ring. She'll do anything it takes to get the victory and maintain her status. So what do you think is the best strategy for the we go. competition? Other than begging her for mercy, in all seriousness, Got a good angle though, here so Zelina that the referee the can be seen from this point match. of view. So decide which advantage you want to utilize and stick to the plan. Count on one. You could technically win a, um, a number one contendership match Bang. via count out. Three. Zalia. Oh! No! Zelina Vega missed that could be very horrifically Don't know if the risk was to the outside. Uh, she's trying, trying to create space. What up, Curtis? Count of one. And Jolin, you are not booked for today. And back in the ring. Nope, now is Zelina back in the ring. Count of four. Five. Broken up in time. There you go. Ran in, literally ran into a clothesline. Zelina with a springboard moonsault on all of it. Look at that. Oh. I did download your character, Curtis. Indeed. Can't wait to see him back in AEW. <clears throat> Plus, we wanted. It was supposed to see. We're supposed to see what was going on with, the, you know, the other thing. Look at that running. Oh, Hurricane DDT. That could be. That might actually be it. Shoulders down. One, two. It's up. No, it's not. Not over yet. Not over yet. A little bit ways to go here. Oh. Forward elbow. Oh, that's that might be it. One, only one. Not time to expect victory yet. The wheels are turning in Zaya's head. Zaya Lee getting ready to end it. Oh, butterfly kick! Here we go. Number one contendership. It's not done yet. Zaya Lee cannot believe it. Roundhouse went for another. Didn't work out. And Zelina thought she was going to go somewhere, but she went nowhere except for the outside, it seems like. Oh, stunner! You know, I like the ring view camera angle. They got some pretty good camera shots. I don't really got to do a free roll or modify it myself. Look at this, Zelina sizing her up, looking for that DDT! That might be it. No, wait. Uh, no, not quite. Look at this. Oh! <clears throat> Kicked her away, too. What's she gonna do here? Oh! Slammed her face into the canvas. Now Zelina going up top. Tyrus maneuver. Going for another moonsault. And she got it, too! No way! For the win. Shoulders down. One, two, and oh! Wow! Just pure instinct at this point. Unbelievable. 
picked her away from her. And Zia Lee's fired up, man. I think she she got something up her sleeve that's gonna really turn this thing around. Duck underneath. Leapfrog. Butterfly kick again! Here we go. One, two, and what? The cross Shannon one more time. I don't know if she's gonna do one more time. I don't know if she's got one more in her. It's been a struggle for these competitors to match. But the struggle's worth it. With every move you make, you get shoulders down. Could she fall in trouble? Shoulders down, here we go. One, two. No. Just barely kicked out again. Just barely got the shoulder up. I don't know what it's going to take. For Zelina to win this match, but obviously Stalking it's gonna be everything in the tank and some. And At the moment though, she's running on fumes, so I don't know how what much she has left. Elbow. Zelina Vick, uh, or not, uh, Zia Lee going up top. Look at this, diving elbow to the heart of Zelina. That's, that might actually be it. She might just gotta throw in the ring and, oh! I was gonna say maybe just throw in the ring and call it a day, but never mind. Uh, Boom, face first. So much damage in front of the three. Point of the elbow finds the mark. Four. Jarring impact. <clears throat> and Lee is showing off her Five. Zion is firmly in the driver's seat. Tossed away go. with the explosion. Six. Seven. Uh oh. Hold on. Wait a minute. Charles telling these guys, these girls, to get back in the ring. That's a submit. Oh, come on, dude. Eight. We're at a count of eight. You got to get back in the ring. It's gonna be a double count out. And she lets her out of the submission. I don't know if it's. Zelina Vega is gonna take a count of victory. And that's it. Zelina Vega is going to get an opportunity of a lifetime, a world Here's championship right opportunity by way of count out. And with the ref's count, this match has ended. This match ending by count out is not satisfying to the wow. WWE Universe. I think Zelina Vega and Shotzi for the title. Damn. This should be an interesting one. Solo Sokoa and Patrick Bryant. Singles action. Up next, I don't know, man. I, I really do not know what's going to happen right here. I will state that right now. But the bloodline, they're trying to reclaim and take control back to SmackDown. So we'll see what happens. I guess this is a good way to welcome somebody. But yeah, well, welcome back to SmackDown, Patrick. Good luck against Solo. Oh, okay, so I guess it, wait, but Paul Heyman's not even in the, Here okay, I guess. When Jimmy and Jay were getting their start in WWE, Solo was still getting into fights on the street. Well, there's Solo Sokoa. He is a raging animal. Sokoa and he is, won. yeah, he wants to do some, he wants to do some damage. Oh, oh, oh. Are you guys ready? But yeah, look at this. I'll tell you right now, Patrick Bryant may be one of the best additions SmackDown has brought in for quite some time. So I don't know, man. I honestly don't know. North Carolina, weighing in at 248 pounds, the outlaw, Patrick Bryant. If you saw his social media handle, it's at no. This is Patrick. Very long time. A very popular meme, if you don't know what it is.
I don't know, guys. I think Pat. Uh, yeah, I want to say Patrick's the one that's favored to win this match. I think he's favored to win. You want to talk about a scary man to be standing across the ring from? This superstar is going to be face to face with Solo Sokoa. <clears throat> Now, with introductions out the way, let's go ahead and get this match started. There's Solo Sokoa, and there's Patrick Bryant. And this match will officially begin. And Patrick wasting no time. Double stop, looking for the win. One, two, oh, almost a two. One count only, one count only. Chad Patton is going to be our referee for this contest. Got him up onto his shoulders, and Solo gets out of the way. Irish whip towards the corner. Oh! Running splash. Man, that is nasty. Back into his feet, went for a body shot. Patrick able to escape it and punch him in the gut. Springboard. Oh, that'll work. Like a springboard into Gurry. Look at this. Just taunting away on Solo. Not sure if that's really a good idea. Oh, and he got kicked in the face for his troubles. Leg drop to Noah Bale. With these reversals. Big <clears throat> Setting up what he does here. Position. Oh, right in the back of the head. Oh, damn. Kick to the back, and now I don't know what he's doing here. The victory seems pretty clear to me. You just have to focus on doing what you do best. Stomping away at the wrist of Patrick. Ruthless your attacks, the better. Pretty straight Solo got a mine here. Irish slips towards the no. Oh, brought him back. So I imagine for a uh, headbutt. Only get kicked in the face now. Here comes Patrick. Knee right to the cheekbone. Lands right on top of him for a pin attempt. One, two, only two. Oh, and a body shot. Super kick to Patrick. Oh, what's going on? What's, what's, uh, what's Paul Heyman doing here? Don't say that too long. Moving a turnbuckle like padding, so now and Solo has the opportunity to stops. even use that as a yeah, weapon. All he's got to do is really just that. toss Patrick into that corner, and he's gonna, it's going to do a significant amount of damage. Oh, no, he might use it against him. No, he's not. Irish whip. This guy's big boot. One of his favorite moves there. Shoulders down. One. Referee took a while to count there. Not sure what that was about. Look at that. Down oh, jawbreaker. And bite your tongue with that. And look at the solo. Uh -oh. Went for the Samoan he's spike to Noel. And now he's going for an Alabama. No, never mind. It's an air raid neck breaker right off the knee. We may be and now Patrick getting so ready to wrap this eyes. thing up. Super kick. Down he goes. Hooks the leg. One. Two and Solo kicks out. Kick away. Cross Channing fight forever. Oh. Springboard. Ends the Curry once more. Now he's going up top. Big move underway. Inbound. Here we go. Oh, diving elbow. The macho elbow to Noahville. Irish whip, rebound, leapfrog, duck underneath, and a running knee, ran right into it too. Kick to the gut, oh wait a minute, he's going for, what, what's this, oh never mind, went for a butterfly, don't, couldn't tell you, clothesline, could have been a butterfly, anything, could have been a pedigree, a butterfly, you know, I don't know, had him in position though, ooh, Kick right to the face again. Solo gonna escape the ring. He wants to take a little bit of a breather. Don't blame him. Count of one. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Look at Patrick. He's gonna fly high. He's gonna go for something major. He's going for a big play. Can it hit though? Here comes Patrick. And it, oh, he couldn't quite hit it. Solo able to escape and move out the way, preventing a lot of harm to his body. Count of two, you gotta get it back in the ring though. And solo, uh, not sure what he's doing. 
Gets inside the ring. Guess that answers my question. He's getting back in the he ring. I'm going to get elbowed right in the face. Now the referee finally doing something about that Solar turnbuckle. And looks to capitalize. And look at this Irish whip towards the turnbuckle the again. Bottom left on our screen. Oh, what a clothesline. Look at this Paul Heyman again unhooking that turnbuckle patty. Solo going up top. Oh, what a splash. Might be it. One, two. Oh, and a kick out. Wanted to see the shoulders, and we got to. Referee again, fixing that turnbuckle padding. But he's distracted, so anything could possibly happen. Solo went for the Samoa Spike. I get it. Super kick again. Cover him. Here we go. Oh, referee calls a rope break. Solo Sokoa cannot get that Samoan spike for anything. Got to go for the big play. Oh, look at this Lion Tamer. He's got the Lion Tamer locked in. But Solo escapes out of the hold almost instantaneously. You've got to wonder how much has been taken out of these superstars thus far. And is there anything left? He has a right where he wants him. Going up top. Double X handle. A deafening cheer from the WWE Universe. Look at this, just wrenching at the us. neck of Patrick. Absolutely if he can get that Samoan unreal. spike, the match is over. Oh, and there's a leg drop. And Sokoa continues to carry on through the pain. Yeah, Sokoa somehow sustaining the I don't know what he tried to do there, but he got, he got in the right position, though. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? He Who's moving the turnbuckle? Oh, He's Paul Heyman just removed the turnbuckle oh, again. And that kick to the face. And again, just doing whatever he wants to solo. Now going after that wrist. Oh, look, at referee notices the, the turnbuckle padding now. Patrick got him up on his shoulders. Oh, snake eyes off the turnbuckle. Stomp to the stomach. Ooh, full steam ahead of that. Oh, big boot right to the jaw. That's it. No, it's not. Patrick going outside and now going back in. Torturous focus on the leg punishing. Ooh. That does not feel good. Like at all. And a knee. Heavy knee strike, man. That's yeah. That, this is this is about to be over pretty soon. Figure four leg lock submission. No, not a submission. Just trying to wear him down. Looks like referee not calling for it. Solo needs to start reacting quicker. Oh, right to the chin. This might be the beginning. Of, oh, look at this. Look at the dis the disrespect. Unbelievable. I mean, you got to not respect these guys. Look at what they've been doing to everybody. So I, I'm with Patrick Bryan. I'm like, man, that's crazy. Oh, look at this. Finally going to do a butterfly face buster. That's it. Nowhere near the ropes. One, two, and three. Patrick Bryant wins in his big return to Friday nights. Here's your winner. The outlaw, Patrick the typically dominant solo and there you have it the celebration is commencing like taking this? care of business and yeah i'm like dude right now want, Saxton, patrick Sokoa bryant looks like a very strong contender we're gonna have to see what he does next time on smackdown i can't wait to see it he has just been incredible and look at that here we go oh 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 the flex machine is here and he's showboating letting you all know that he's coming to make this show his. Well, he celebrates still. We're going to have ourselves a number one contenders match, everybody. Intercontinental Championship opportunity on the line as the one and only Ricochet battles the one and only. Well, I guess he's not really the one. Yeah, he kind of is, right? But, yeah, he, this is L.A. night with everybody saying it, okay? Get ready for it because this, this place is going to erupt.
as soon as you hear the see the pointing going on watch buckle up it's time the one and only versus the, the mega star when Ricochet is on your screen, prepare to witness an athletic spectacle like you've never seen before. The following contest is set for <coughs> one fall, making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! Well, up to this point, Ricochet Here comes Ricochet plenty of success running into that in ring. WWE. Oh, yeah. Look at his, ready. Oh, oh. look at like a spider man is out there. The menu for life and turned off the gravity option. But get ready for it, man. This is this is where you get to see the one and only take on the megastar. Here he comes. The WWE Universe just exploded. That's because L.A. Knight is here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you hear the yeah star. erupts? Now okay, you're gonna see one more. You're gonna hear one more. It's gonna be freaking ridiculous too. Not yet. Hold on. It's coming. Here we go. This is it right here. Get ready, guys. Oh yeah. <clears throat> it's gonna get really bad. Well there's Ricochet. Cross channel Ricochet right now. And there's LA Knight. And this match officially begins. Adrian Butler will be our official for this bout. Towards the corner he goes. Let's see. Look at that. Oh! Locks him down. Back in the ring we go. His body is a razor sharp, masterfully trained precision instrument. And let's see what he does. Oh, gets out of there. In tonight's match. Let's see what he does next. Ooh! Nice right hand. And look at that. Well, Damn. too bad he's getting in there with L.A. Knight. This guy says WWE today is his game. And Back with to the his feet. Knight has, Tie up. Not wrong. Irish whip. Rebound off the ropes. Oh, went for a single leg drop kick, but L.A. Knight kind of just ate that. To now he's just going to toss it to the corner. Oh, European uppercut. He's got the answer for that one. Let's see, there's a oh, kick to the back. Dang, that does not feel good, I'll tell you right now. LA Knight gonna get back in the ring. No count will ensue. Get back in the ring. Oh, oh, German suplex from Ricochet. Knight is not just known for being <clears> right hand, right He's hand, left hand, left hand. Oh! That was almost. That's very similar to the BFT. Irish whip, and he's gonna actually throw him outside the ring. The more vulnerable he'll be. Referee begins the count. LA Knight asking the crowd, Knight getting the crowd behind him. Went for a clothesline, only get caught with a hurricane Rana. Nice take down. Oh yeah, head scissors more like it actually. Stop to the left Ouch. ankle. Standing shooting star, but only to get knee in the gut as he landed. Rebound. Back elbow. Immediately tries to pin him and win it. One, two, only two. Die Ruff will be paying attention to this match very closely. <clears throat> Got him up onto his shoulders. Look at that. Oh, snake eyes. LA Knight going Knight outside, like not sure what for, only gets on back the in the ring. Okay, this is an odd predicament. Against the ropes, the right hand. Irish whip. Oh, and a clothesline, thunderous. LA Knight going up top, high risk maneuver. Can't see anything from this angle. Driving elbow! And a knee right across the face. 
Ooh, double stomp to the face. LA is doing a great job remaining engaged with the opposition. With that knee, clothesline. Not giving the WWE Universe the chance to really appreciate it. Wow, what a drop kick. Damn. He basically did a backflip off of LA Knight. And look at this clothesline to the outside. Ricochet. Looking off, show off his flying skills. Oh, and he got it too. Wow, Ricochet just getting the crowd on their feet now. Coming back in the ring. He gets back in the ring, Ricochet. Oh. Fireman's carry now. Stun gun off the ropes. Excuse me. Right hand, left hand, left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. Clothesline. A straight up brawler showing his skills in striking. Ricochet gets elbowed. We'll tie up again here. Oh, oh, backslide driver could be it. One, two. And LA Knight able to kick out and stay alive in this number one contendership match. Oh, and a kick right to the cheekbone. And a kick to the back. Super kick. Down goes LA Knight. This is going to be it. This could be the moment Ricochet's been waiting for. What is this? Oh, he went for a 630 moonsault. But LA Knight. Inadvertently rolled out the way. He was just trying to get up. Hoisted up. Suplex. Suplex. For the win, is it going to be enough to use his own momentum against him too? No, no it's not. Couldn't quite slam the door <coughs> Excuse me. Big LA Knight with an Irish whip. Oh, he's hanging on. Dangerous position here, What's guys. this? Going for a back no, no, suplex, no, no, it looks like, on the apron. Oh, yes, he does. Looking beaten down at this point. Not what you want to see by any means. The referee's going to have to begin his count soon. Oh, what the hell? No, tell me he's going for BFT on the outside. He is BFT on the outside. No way. Is he going to try to... Is he, all you got to do now is pin him in the ring. And that's it. Alan I just chanted just said, yeah, he needs to pin him, though. He needs to stop playing around. Pin him. Hooks the leg, shoulders down. The referee with the count. One, two. No, oh, he kicked shot. out. Somehow, some way, that may have been one of the best this. things I've seen from LA Knight do. Like, that was a like, perfect execution. But you know what the problem is? Like, yes, I understand trying to get his career and everything. But, you know, you got to try to do what you to can. You win, obviously, especially with a title match on display or basically on the line here. But you shouldn't have just... You, you should just win the ring and pin him. You don't have to throw in the ring. Yeah, all this other stuff. You got to win the match. It ain't over till it's over. Nice moonsault from Ricochet. And now Ricochet kind of doing the same thing here. Needs to, you know, finish it. The match isn't over until the bell rings. So you got to you gotta uh, hit your move and pin your opponent. Ricochet's tired, though. He's tired, man. I don't know how much more he's got in the tank. Shooting star press for the win. One, two, oh, and now they make this out. Ricochet, single knee code breaker. One, two, and another close call. Ricochet with a moonsault off the springboard, but nobody home. LA Knight was there waiting Ricochet to move out the way. Oh, look at this. BFT again. He got the BFT. Dragging him away from the ropes. He does not want him to have a chance to kick out. And all he's got to do is hook that leg and call it a day. One, two. Oh, my goodness. What is it going to take for LA Knight to put away Ricochet? Because right now, no matter what it is, it ain't working. Handspring elbow. He manages to escape it. Oh, and a knee right there. Look at that, going after the left arm and shoulder area. Damn. 
next stretch. I don't know what's gonna. I don't know what's next. I really don't. Stand Danny shooting star. star. That's incredible. Got to get it back in the ring though. Oh, Ali Knight kind of tripped up there. <clears throat> oh, that might have just broken something, and now Knight is getting beaten down. Just looking to do his Count much to Ali Knight's body as possible. another backslide driver. That might be enough. He just gets, if he throws him in the ring and pins him, it might be it. LA Knight able to escape. Count of five. And this will not. Oh, it does. No, it doesn't. Referee was in the way there. Count of six. Ricochet back in the ring. Look at that. Oh, and LA Knight again messing up over there, dude. You can't be doing stuff like that. Irish whip rebound off the rope. Oh, look at this. Oh, we got it. Oh, what the hell? Oh, 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 oh. Jump kick. Too much going on to call it, but he was all over the place flying around. Puts the leg. Do I have a number one contender? One, two, and no. Ricochet's doing everything in his arsenal to get this opportunity of a lifetime, but he just cannot put him away no matter what he does. He might be able to here though if he can hit it. Going up top. Shooting star, but nobody home. LA Knight. Looking to end it. No, Ricochet trying to keep him. You know, keep this match going. What's this? Oh. Nice German suplex. Knight doesn't have any room to recover. Just relentless attacks. And now Ricochet. Ricochet. I don't know what he's gonna do, but he's got LA Knight, I guess, where he wants him. But LA Knight able to get out of there. Body shots connecting. Ricochet oh. is becoming a bloody mess in there. Ricochet. The WWE universe is coming. Ricochet's bleeding. They are up and they are vocal. A lot what is what is LA Knight trying to do? Oh, look at the athleticism jumping to the top turn uh, buckle. Superplex. That might be enough. He can pin him. Alan Knight, what are you doing? Pin him, man. Go, go, go. He's kept oh, no. He's not done yet. He's looking for one more. BFT Blood Force Trauma. One. Two. He got him. <clears throat> wow. Here is your winner. And your new number one contender for the Intercontinental Champion is ship is none other than the megastar LA Knight. What a match this man right here absolutely put on a show with Ricochet. That may have been the match of the night. I don't know how it's going to get topped. But we'll find out because Gunther is going to take on the newest edition of Friday Night Smackdown. The ring general takes on the American Nightmare in the main event. Cody Rhodes up next. Who's going to win? I have no idea. But, you know, Cody Rhodes has to be the favorite. Based on what he's been doing on, you know, Monday Night Raw up to Mania, I think he's, I think he's going to be the odds-on favorite to win this match. But we'll see what happens. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go to get this underway, shall we? Whenever it wants to load. Any day. Oh, I already pressed X, so oh, I guess. Okay, never mind. We're ready to go. Gunther is here and ready to prove that the mat is sacred. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria. Weighing in at 297 pounds, Gunther! Six foot four, 265 pounds, Gunther is steadfast, commanding, imposing, 
Oh he yeah. Is the ring it's gonna get reason. good real quick. And unmatched in the ring. Hey, and don't forget, unrelenting. Gunther never lets up and never backs down. Gunther is always ready to demolish. This is gonna be a good match. This is main event back. worthy without a doubt. And if you don't respect him, so we'll see how things sure go. It's gonna be it's gonna be good, him. man. It's gonna be real good. It is the ring general. <coughs> Excuse me, I'll tell you that right now. He is ready to conquer. Now for the newest edition of Friday Night SmackDown. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, looking to continue his dominance in WWE. Competing at his highest level, striving for the main event and the biggest prize. Oh yeah, it's about to get good, real quick. That woe is, it never gets old. I'll tell you that right now. And his opponent, from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. <coughs> Excuse me. The Rhodes name means he was born with this business in his blood. He's finally been able to tap into that, and we are now Kind of looks like an American Eagle with those feathers on his cape, huh? Indeed, Corey. The American Nightmare One of the best, you know, ring gears I've ever seen. Definitely the best I've seen in recent memory, at least. He's made his mark across the wrestling world. And I know Cody's going to do whatever he can to win this match. He's going to find it within himself deep inside to pull out all the stops. He's got the best work ahead of him here in WWE. It's going to be good. Crowd's chanting Cody. You know who they want to win. And there we go, man. This match is going to be official in a way. Jessica Carr is our referee. Oh, there's a Every chop. Cody's got to avoid those chops, it. man. This he man did it last time perfectly people. good. Oh, so, you know, that, that's going to have to be Few everything there. Comfortable. Almost happy. In that, oh, how's the outside? And the gonna bring him back in. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, overhand strike. Cody Rose lost at WrestleMania to Randy Orton, the World Heavyweight Champion. Now, it was gonna be Cody Rose versus Randy Orton, main event, a backlash for the World Heavyweight Championship. But then Cody Rose got dropped in the SmackDown, so that changed everything. And Gunther, he's already gonna have his. Opportunity at the Dodges undisputed WWE attack. Championship Just since he hadn't got his rematch clause. But I, I don't know what the hell that was about, but that wasn't even close to home. Oh, oh! And get a, a big knee right to the chin. Went for a chop, Irish whip. Shot. Oh, that got blocked. See, Cody's got to avoid it, and he's he know he remembers what he did last time. These two fought against each other. There's a clothesline followed by a bulldog to top it off. Oh, and I. That looks bad for Gunther's face. He's busted open already. He is bleeding. Within minutes of this match beginning, he is already a bloody mess. Crank in the head. That is not a good look, at all. Putting a time up here. Going for a straight back to DDT. Got all of it too. No pin attempt yet. <coughs> oh, jab. Oh, by a double. Shades of Daddy. Mounting away with these left handed strikes to Gunther. Just trying to, just trying to you know, get his money's worth here. Major moment here tonight right hand. What's Cody, Cody going to do? Oh, nothing. Don't they're able to Rhodes escape? Always meets the Irish moment. whip he to the rope rebound. Duck underneath. Not do so now. And a scoop slam. Own it, and he will meet again. Look at that swinging Slim neck breaker too. Oh, what a running ball. drop kick! Got all of it as well. Oh no, 
Oh. Oh. Vicious stops to the hand. That is not good at all. Repeated impacts like that will weaken you mentally as much as Rake to the eyes. Look at that, man. That is nasty. Irish whip. Rebound off the ropes. Duck underneath. Leapfrog. And Gunther going to hit him with a German suit only to get countered to it. What's he going to do here? Oh, crossroads. No, he's not. This is a DDT. Never mind. He faked me out there. Jessica with the count, only one. He could make much of that. I thought he was going for crossroads, going to end that thing, but nope. And now Gunther going to try to take him where he wants to. Nope. Cody says, not today, pal. Elbows to escape the hold. Cody Rhodes. Oh, look at this. He's going for pedigree. Pedigree. Both men are down. Rosie's to get up to his feet, which he does. Cover, shoulders down. One. Two, only one. Kickouts are only gonna get harder. <clears throat> oh, and a slap to the face to Gunther. Oh, look at this. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Crossroads. He hit the crossroads. Shoulders down. One, two, and another close call. Gunther able to escape the pin attempt. And, you know, try to build momentum towards backlash. But the way things are going, I think FRJ, even after he got his ass handed to him, he's got to love to see how things are turning out with him against Cody Rhodes. Oh, what a chop and Gunther. Fired up now. Right hand, left jab, left jab, kick to the gut. DDT got all of it too. I'm, I'm, I'm still waiting to see if Blood's going to touch the mat. Went for a chop. That didn't work out. Nice reversal. Back elbow. Gunther. Trying to go for something big there. Didn't happen. Look at that. Disaster kick. Got all of it. Puts the left. Referee calls for a rope break. And now it looks like Cody's going to try to end this thing right here, right now. Right before our very eyes. Can he do it? Crossroads. He does. Hooks the leg. One, two, and Gunther kicks out of two of them. But not out. Such a competitive drive, refusing to let this be over. Rhodes hopes for victory. What is he going to do now? Because it's already been a pedigree to crossroads. What else is it going to require? Jab. Fire a elbow again. Shades of Daddy. Paying homage to the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. Now he's going up top. What's this? Moonsault! Oh, nobody home. Gunther rolls out the way. Chop. Body shot. Went for a jab again. That didn't work out. Irish whip. Rebound off the ropes. Couldn't hit the back elbow. Cody catches himself. Kick to the gut. Oh, oh, wait, oh, oh. wait a minute. Looking for another pedigree. He got him. Pedigree. He just got to cover him. Now it's over. One. Two, no way. Gunther is literally kicking out of everything. There's no way. If Cody gets this, it's over. I don't see him kicking out of a third crossroads. And there it is, crossroads. Shoulders down. One, two, it's over. What a match. And if Gunther competes just like that at Backlash, I think we got a new world champion. Oh my goodness. Based on how those two competed, again, if if FRJ gets that Gunther, it's over. We're going to have a new world champion of SmackDown. Like, And there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. <clears throat> That's going to be it. Well, guys... That's all I have for today. We did Raw. We did SmackDown. When we come back, I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do some thinking on this, but I'll see what happens. It's either we do a PLE, or we have to do a couple of the matches to get ready for it. But other than that, I will let you all know in the Discord. But until then, I'm glad everybody was able to come by, interact, and watch the shows that we put up today. So I appreciate every single one of you. Thank y'all for liking, disliking, commenting, interacting with me. Those in the stream sharing being a part of the discord and the production crew aka being a subscriber for as long as you've been whether it's been day one in between up until today i appreciate every single one of you guys and like i said that's all we got for today so thank you for watching i hope you all enjoyed and i'll see you on the next one 
But until the next one, have a great one. Cut. And that's a wrap.